hello and you're welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel you are welcome please don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on that way you always be notified whenever we upload okay in today's video i'll be showing you two different ways on how to make coconut oil at home so guys if you haven't seen the video where i break my coconut and separate the flesh from the shell the link will be in my in my description box below or you can click on the card that will pop up right now okay because in this video i'm not going to show you how to break coconut this is how it looks time it has finished cutting it so this is how it turns out so now i'm going to blend it with warm water and keep watching if you want to see the the end of this video so guys it's time for us to blend the coconut meat but before we do that let me quickly introduce the item we're going to be using to achieve this coconut oil over here is my chiffon cloth and my tea bag. So if you don't have chiffon cloth, you can use tea bag or your strainer. Okay? And of course, we cannot do this without blender. So uh, we need blender. And inside the jug is my room temperature water. So I'm going to add hot water to it because we need warm water for this. Okay? With the help of warm water, it will make the oil to be more right like you achieve the oil more than using just normal room temperature water to blend it okay yeah So here I'll be using my tea bag to separate the mixture. Like I said, if you don't have tea bag, you can use your chevron cloth or your strainer, okay? This is the one that I am okay with. That is why I am using it. So you guys, sorry I'm using my hand to do this, okay? Yeah. swallow you can use it for many things so i'm not keto in i'm not on keto so but i can still eat it if i don't want to throw it away i eat anything i want to eat but reduce the quantity of what i'm eating 
Okay, guys, this is where the two different methods occurs. Okay, yeah, the very first method I'm gonna show you guys is what I call same day use. Yes, this is basically if you want to use it the same day. Okay, if you want to make use of the coconut milk the same day. So this method, number one method that I'm going to show you is using this plastic bag. Okay, to ensure that the milk or the mixture got separated with the water before making use of it and you make sure you hang it where your hand will not be touching all the time okay yeah i will show you video on that as well as how it looks so now this is what i'm going to be using to tie the plastic bag i don't know this one i got it from uh, a crate of chicken that i, I bought okay so if you know how you can get yours you just go ahead and do so and the plastic that I'm using is not quite big if you have bigger one than my own you can use reason is because I'm showing you two method okay yeah and the second one I'll be showing you is the one I have to store like I have to pour the whole milk in a bowl put it in my refrigerator for it to stay till the next day so the next day I'm gonna be making use of it. That is if I don't want to use it for the uh, for the, uh, the same day. Okay. The first one is the one you want to use the same day, and the second one is the one you don't want to use the same day. I hope you understand. Okay. So yeah, this is it now. I will pour all the milk inside this uh, plastic bag. Hang it here, my hand will not be touching all the time to avoid it, avoid, avoid it from shaking, shaking, you know what I mean, you know, because if it shakes a lot, it will, we will not get what we want, so avoid it from shaking, shaking, so that the water and the milk will be able to separate themselves. Guys, this is where I hang my own because my hand doesn't go towards to this direction. Okay? So I try to hang it where I I try to hang it where my hand will not be going all the time. So you can see this one is can see how the oil is here and the water is down here. Okay guys, you can see it, so I'll leave it for some hours before I'll use it, you see, the oil is up here and the water is down here. So this one have not yet because I just put it now, so you see it different. So the remaining one, this is the remaining one, I'm going to put it in the fridge to stay overnight. So the next day we're going to see how it turn out. I don't know, it's like it's too big in this container. May change it from this container anyway. This is the final result. Can you see the quantity of the water that settled down here? And the oil is just up there. Same thing with this one, the oil is just up here and the water is here. So this is quite easy if you want to 
make the oil if you want to get the oil the same day and you don't want to keep it overnight okay so this method is very very easy for you to do this but if you have bigger plastic bag make use of it use the bigger plastic bag and forget this one so that is it guys it's time to eat <laughs> It's time to cook it. Let me cook this one. So guys, you have to be very careful here because this part can be difficult at times. So what I do here, I use my, I take my scissors and cut off the plastic bag. Allow the water beneath to rush out. Okay. Then once the mixture, the milk is about, you know, coming out, I will grab the whole the tip of that uh, plastic bag to avoid wasting the milk okay then I'll pour the remaining the milk inside the pot and that is it so guys this is very simple and self-explanatory okay yeah that is if you like this first method you can go ahead and do so if you don't like this method you can do the second method which is pouring the pour pouring the mixture in your bowl okay and store it in your refrigerator till the next day then you can make use of it okay guys here comes the second method i just brought it out from the fridge and as you can see the coconut milk has sticking up and you can see the water is also separated from the milk okay so what i'm doing right now is to scoop out the fatty part and put put it in my pot and go and cook it so the water i'm not gonna throw it i'll still use it and cook something you can use it to cook fried rice jollof rice you can also use it on your hair okay yeah So guys, cooking of this coconut milk requires low heat and consistent temperature and the process can easily take between 1 to 2 hours, if not more, depending on the quantity. So just be patient, all good things come to those who wait after all, isn't it? Okay. So the reason why you are to cook it in low heat is to avoid ruining the oil, okay? You don't have to turn the coconut milk a lot. When you turn it, you leave it. If you come back to check, you turn and you leave, okay? While it's heating, the water will evaporate from the coconut milk. The coconut milk will begin to get crumbled in texture and solidify. So this is when you will begin to notice the oil separate from the solid, okay? Okay, guys, you can see the oil up there. The oil has started coming out. Don't mind the color of the pot, okay? It is normal. Your pot will surely get burnt. If you didn't burn, this oil will not be will, will not extract. If you didn't burn, the oil will not come out, guys. Oh my god, this is oil. Guys, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> okay, guys, this is the oil. Oh my god. I love what I see. Like seriously, I love what I see. Okay? I just love it. Okay guys, I'm gonna up the light, allow it to cool down. Up the heat, allow it to cool down. I think I've gotten enough heat. You guys, look at what I got. Look at correct organic virgin coconut oil. You guys, wow. I love this. You can use this coconut oil for many things. You can use it on your skin, on your head, even on your baby hair. Yeah, this is what I use on my baby hair. Okay? So guys, go give it a try and let me know. Okay?
All right, beautiful people, this is the look of our pot. <laughs> As you can see, our pot got burnt. Don't worry, okay? Don't get discouraged because of this. I'm gonna show you how to wash your pot and keep it clean. So go give your coconut oil a try, all right? Put your eye on that video. It's coming okay, soon. Okay, guys, this is the oil that I got from five coconuts. And uh, now it has cooled down a bit. I want to turn it inside this bottle. So you can make use of any bottle of your choice. This is my oil oil bottle. So I'm going to be using it to transfer this oil in there. So I'll be using my chiffon cloth. Okay, I want to make sure that there is no, no dirt. I have to be, have to be careful about this. I hope you guys can see it. So because my chiffon plot is too big, so oh my god, that is why I'm gonna be using. I want to make sure everything comes up into two. So I don't want this to be Clean so far. This is the only thing that came out from the oil. It's not too bad. So, guys, that is it. So, guys, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it, and leave us your comments. Let's know what you think about this. Please do take this to your kitchen, make your own, and enjoy. Okay, see you guys in my next video. Bye.